Hey y'all, DB, back at you from the Smoke Dungeon with part two of my Flesh Terrors old school 40k army from like 25 years ago. I don't know, probably mid 90s. Although this one, as you can see right here, got some OG pieces in it. Um, and there's a story behind that. But let's start taking a look. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Let's dive right in. So first, we got us a little razor back. You know DB don't glue the turrets on, none. So these are my flesh tears. You see, this one was a real razor back kit because it's got the metal, um, I don't know what you would call this, top, top plate, I guess. Yeah. Um, and this one, clearly, DB back in the day, wasn't trying to do no extra work on this one because there's, no, um, there's no ram bar on the front. He's missing the two back exhausts. Still has the front, no handrails. Um, and then of course the ubiquitous, uh, you see, you like how I fucked that up? Ubiquitous, uh, Laz Plaz Terret from that era of the Rhino Rush. You know what I'm saying? And you'll remember, or you can just go watch the other video. These plasma guns in this army were all painted green, y'all. So that's what's up. You'll also notice there's a healthy coating of dust on these. Um, because for years they were not kept in a glass um, case or nothing. They were just like on a table. Um, so you'll see a real dusty one in a second. Um, this one, y'all, is a treat. Because this fine beauty, check that shit out, converted rhino. Um, this is one of the first rhinos I ever bought in my life. I think it was 1988, maybe? Yeah, it was it was in the 80s, y'all. I'm almost positive. Pack of three. There was this one, and then I painted one green and used it for my Imperial Guard at the time. And then there was another one that I used all the extra pieces on the sprues and made a looted orc rhino that had, like, a thing coming out of here. Um, but this one, I always thought, like, Space Marines would probably not just have bolters. On the fucking top of the rhino. So like. This is a metal heavy bolter attack bike piece. That I put on here many many moons ago. And these are actually plates from the orc battle wagon. Um, the old orc battle wagon from GW. That I used to make a gun shield here. Um, yeah. And then other than that. It's just pretty much straightforward. Rhino, you know, you'll see back in the day, primed it white. There's actually, I primed it over the green. So this one was painted green at some time. You'll notice it actually had the wheels painted too, you know. But this is like one of the first rhinos I have ever, ever had. And you can see it's showing its age, dude. Coats of paint on this joint. At one point in time, I think there was like a radar dish I glued on here or some crazy shit. That's why there's a big splotch of glue there. Ram bars missing a few few blades. Um, and then here for contrast, this is the newish Rhino. Well, I say newish. It's not newish anymore. It was newish when I bought it. Um, check my free hand here, yo. What do you think? Kind of haggard, right? Kind of haggard. Look at that. Would that saw blade cut anything? Looks more like Sonic the Hedgehog's fucking head, y'all. Um, so, yeah. This is just a standard Rhino. There, to answer your question, no, I don't paint the insides, yo. Um, but I did leave this open so you could open it. And I did paint the windshield wipers, y'all. But boom And at one point in time, there was clearly a ram bar on here as well. But it looks like it broke off. I don't remember. Um, yeah. There's a lot of detail I didn't even put on this, dude. I think when this kit came out, I already had this army. So I was like, yo, I'll paint this up and, uh, you know, add it to the army. And I don't think I ever really finished. So no surprise there, yo. DB, y'all will soon come to realize when I show you the myriad of things that are down here in the dungeon. That DB rocks hobby ADD like a motherfucker. Um, check this out, y'all. Metal Furioso Dreadnought. 
that I glued onto a real dreadnought base. Yeah, yeah. Check the dust, y'all. Some dust in that joint. Um, but yeah, metal dreadnought. Uh, Furioso. I can't, I'm pretty sure I use this as a death company dreadnought, y'all. Hence the black and red. You know what I'm saying? Rocking the Melta. This is something I used to, I remember doing this shit back in the day. When it was like hoses, exposed hoses on a lot of shit. I felt the need to make them all different colors. Like fucking rainbows, yo. And I don't know why. Because like nowadays, it's like you just paint them all gray and they look fucking cool as shit. But not here. So yeah. Um, but he's cool, y'all. He used to rock faces, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Um, this is just an old school rhino that I used for this army. This is, this is almost, if I had any shame left, y'all, this would, would bring me great shame because it's an original rhino with two updated storm bolters onto it. You know what I'm saying? And then a funky door here. Um, and I use this for my death company because I didn't put jump packs on my death company like everybody else. Go back and check the video, yo. I don't do jump packs on the death company, which was funny because a lot of the army was jetpack heavy, except the death company. They rode around in this rhino that had no bottom, y'all. It's like a bowling ball. Um, but yeah, so, and I never bothered to paint it because I was like, fuck it. It's the death company, right? Um, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll paint that up and use it for my iron hands now. I don't know. It's a... Uh, yeah, I'll probably do something with it. You'll notice this one actually still has the handles right here. It's pretty cool. Um, all right, now this one, y'all, prepare to see some dust. This is an OG Land Raider. Boom, boom. And my command squad used to ride around in, dude. OG Land Raider. Wait, I'll show you what's inside it, too. Um, so, yeah, OG Land Raider. It's... Uh, a minor conversion on it in that there are bases glued here, and then the last cannons are glued to these circle bases. Um, and then there are metal grenade launchers here, and then the heavy bolter right here is just an old Devastator heavy bolter, you can see. Check out the dust, man. You know why? Because this thing doesn't sit in a case. It hasn't sat in a case for years. Um <sighs> It's, look at that, y'all. That's crazy. Um, it just sits down here in the smoke dungeon on a shelf um, at the very top where, like, it gets no attention. So, but you'll notice, check this shit out. It opens up. Look at that original haggard nest right there. Green. Yep. Took the liberty to saw this whole piece off so you could open it and put dudes in it. Um, there's a hatch on the top, and this guy fits in it. He's like binocular, rogue trader binocular marine. Pretty cool, right? And just in case you were wondering, DB is WYSIWYG, dude. So I don't fuck around. I keep it real like that. You know what I'm saying? Even when keeping it real is wrong, I keep it real. Because I got another heavy bolter in here. It just broke off, y'all. So, yeah. There's a devastator heavy bolter from, like, rogue trader days. But that's what I'm using for my heavy bolters. Look at this dust, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe I, instead of the smoke dungeon, I call it the dust dungeon. But, yeah, such is life. But this one, yo, this has been in my possession for, I don't, I don't know, probably late 80s as well. Came in a box of two. I remember that. Um, the other one, strangely enough, like we put fireworks in it, I believe, and blew it up or some shit. It was crazy. We were nuts back in the day, y'all. So, but yeah, so here it is. My Flesh Terrors vehicles, old school, retro. You know what I'm saying? Hope you dig them. This one's my favorite, yo. This shit is way hot. You know what? what's crazy, though? I'm pretty sure in 30K now, you can do this as an option. You can put a heavy bolter on top of your rhinos. So I don't know. Maybe I'll bite that style. Do that. But yeah, dig my freehand. Dig my old school models. It uh, always brings me a smile to get these out and uh, stuff like this and show them to y'all. So I hope everybody enjoys it. You know what I'm saying? Be good to one another. Do what you feel.